everybody welcome to my channel lisa's crafty creations i'm lisa and yes you are watching i am painting my nails i've already got the base coat green done and i don't have pretty nails i have a, a chronic pain disease so most time my nails are either really pretty or they're really broken depending on what my pain is doing and right now they're really broken but that's okay and no, I'm not a manicurist, so this isn't perfect. I just thought it would be something fun. So I put a base coat of green. It is Sally Hansen Hard Nails Extreme Wear, which is good because I always chip off. And I, it's a green. It's called green. Crap. Called green uh, thumb. Green thumb. Okay, and I put two coats on. They're still tacky because, you know, it takes forever to dry and not be tacky. And one hand, my left hand will always be better than my right. That's fine. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate my nails with washi tape. I have this fun daisy washi tape right there and this fun bee one. And I'm going to cut it out and put it on my nail. And then I'm going to secure it with clear nail polish. So when I wash my hands a zillion times a day, like we should all be doing, they won't come off. Now, I've never done this before, but I just got the idea and I want to see how it works. So we will see. So I'm going to wait for these to dry and then I will be back and do probably a couple of hands. Uh, fingers on each hand and I'm filming this twice actually for my other channel as well so I will be back in a little bit to actually put the washi tape on and see how it goes when these dry hey everybody okay I'm back and it's drying so I went ahead and put the flowers on and they don't look too bad and I'm gonna put the little bee on next which is right here and I guess the thing is, I should have cut all the little pictures out before I painted this hand because I did smudge my thumb a bit using the scissors. I'm trying to think if my fingernail is even big enough for the bee. Let's see. Okay. I have to trim it down a bit. As you can see, it's hard when you have... I don't think the B is actually... Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, I got the B on, and I got the flowers on, and they don't look exactly how I thought they would. Hmm. Definitely need to... Let me see if I can get this off. if I trim some more of this white off with it just staying right there. There we go. Alright, now it's all on the nail. So, let's see how this works. Oh, let's see. Okay. Now, let's try put some Oh no, I broke. The top came disconnected from the brush. Hopefully See how it comes out. That 
one is not going to work. So let's pull that one off. And yes, this can pull all the nail polish off under it. Even though it was dry. Isn't that crazy? Let me see if I can. Okay, so the flowers went on fine. Let me see if I can. Where did it go? Oh, right here. If I can cut a bee out a little more closely. Let's see here. Fussy cutting at its finest here. And if you're not a crafter, fussy cutting is just when you cut out individual images. Try not to cut off the wings. I think I cut off the stinger off his little butt. Oh well. Okay, let's see. And let's see. so I'm cutting as close to the little bee as I can. And yes, I always fussy cut with these scissors. So and I left the little white on the top because that's his little antenna. Okay. Oh yeah. So if I fussy cut him out a little more, then he looks really cute. Um, and then he's sealed on and this one is sealed on okay so that's using washi tape to decorate your nails i'm not a nail artist by any means as you can tell so i know so there I'm sure there's stickers out there for nail art, but I don't have any. Well, I do. I have some dogs. I didn't have any bees. And I wanted to do bees and flowers. So I did my washi tape. And this isn't for everybody. I get that. And that's fine. I just thought it was be something different, something fun. So how many of you have tried doing something different with like washi tape instead of just in journals or taping something down. How many of you have tried, used it in a different way or used something else in a totally unexpected way? Because who would expect washi tape to be nail art, right? So anyway, that's how it's going to look. And yes, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to cut out another bee for this now and put on another flower. For this one, because I like things different. Anyway, if you want to see nail art at like the highest level ever, I'll link it below the um, Oceanside Art um, Modern Art Museum or mu Art Museum here in Oceanside. They have this display of nail art and I'll link it below. I think you can do a virtual tour. It is the coolest thing ever. I mean, they have all these fake fingernails, right? In these cases. And I mean, they have all sorts of beads and stuff hanging off of them and everything. It's the coolest ever. So I will link that and down below, tell me how have you used washi tape in a unexpected way? Thanks for being here. Stay safe and hang on. Hey everybody, so this is the finished uh, nails with the washi tape and the uh, nail polish. I did say the name in one of the videos of the nail polish. This is not sponsored at, at all whatsoever, but it is a green Sally Hansen nail polish with a wet n wild clear coat. Again, it is not sponsored at all, but anyway, 
something fun. If you have nail stickers, nail art stickers, then you don't have to use washi tape, but washi tape gives you, you know, you have a large, um, if you have a lot of washi tape, you have a large selection at your hand. I love to do kind of weird, different things, so this was just something kind of fun to do. It's very rainy today, so I hope you enjoyed it, and like I said, let me know how have you used uh, an art supply in a strange way for, say, like makeup, nails, um, home decor, or something of that nature. Let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.